It's right here in my hand. Blast it! Luckily, I memorized that entire map before we shipped out. Everything we need to survive is right up here. Oh, oh, how bad is it? Oh, thank you, our crew! The bullet missed every battle organ except the frame! Oh, God, our only hope now is to raise the white flag of surrender! Ah! Wait, that's not what, that's eggshell! Eggshell means up yours! Oh, oh, Johnny, no! No, Johnny! Steve! I'm done! No, no, buddy, you'll be alright! Maybe! Oh, Steve, I want you to do something for me! Oh, anything, buddy, anything! Uh, promise me, Steve, that you'll take care of my wife! You promise me, you'll take care of my wife! God damn! Damn! I know the photo doesn't do her justice, but promise me, Steve, you'll look after her. I will, buddy. I'll take care of her so well she won't be able to walk straight. Steve, I'm slipping away. Yeah, yeah, you can, you go on slip on the way there, buddy. Don't be afraid of that. I can feel it. Oh, I'm going stiff. Way ahead of you, buddy. I'm... 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 Huh? The locket my wife gave me without photos in it. It stopped the bullet. I'm alive! Damn! She looks even better in this one! War. It makes heroes of ordinary men. Well said, Gustav. You're an ordinary man, aren't you, Wilson? To an extraordinary degree. No, to a mediocre degree. In fact, it's not even worth mentioning just how ordinary you are. And it's the same with the others. And sadly, at this moment in time, we're experiencing a sparsity of world wars. But don't despair. Because it just so happens that you and the Void are suffering from the same malady. And war is the cure. But war, Gustav? I mean, what is it good for? For making hard what is soft. For turning boys into men, turning girls into men. Forging an unbreakable bond of brotherhood between you and the man in the foxhole next to you whose name references a US state. Only someone who's experienced war could understand. But you haven't experienced war, have you, Gustav? I don't need to experience war. I'm extraordinary enough as it is. It's all in my new autobiography. A blow-by-blow -blow chronicle of the extremely long road it's taken me to get from college to where I am now. And the incredibly hard obstacles I've had to overcome along the way. It's called... Long and Hard, Gustav Bagansky's Manhood! I want to touch it. That's not ready for public consumption just yet. I'm only up to the 247th draft. I see, so when it is ready, we'll all get to read it and it will harden us up. No, you can't prep for a war movie by reading books. Now to harden you up, I'm putting you all through a week-long boot camp. Boot camp? Affirmatory. I'm going to teach the six of you the character-defining lessons that life has taught me, condensed into a seven-day period. When you come out the other side, your skin will be so thick, you'll have to give up acupuncture. But it's an essential process. If we're going to achieve my new vision for the Void, I need a crew who understands firsthand the horrors of war. The horrors? Gather the troops, Corporal Wilton. We ship out at 0600. I'm not sure you're giving me much to sell to them. Are you disobeying a direct order, Corporal? Oh, no, no, sir, Major Lordship. I don't. What are we. General! And I expect 100% unwavering, unquestioning loyalty from you, Wilton. You won't ever betray me again, will you, Wilton? P -p Please, Gustav. It was six years ago and I literally wasn't myself. Well, I don't forget that easy, William. Okay. Whatever your name is, you have your order. no 
way I'm attending Gustav's idea of a boot camp. When you consider the way he runs a film set, this is gonna be like spending a week in the Temple of Doom. Oh, come on, guys. This isn't a punishment, it's a punishment. Now let's get out into that fresh air and get punished. I don't understand why we all have to go in Gustav's car. It's all part of the authentic experience. Do you think soldiers in the Second World War scooted up to Omaha Beach on personal jet skis? So Omaha Beach is what we should be expecting? If there's a beach, at least I can get a tan. How's he going to turn The Void into a war movie? The script's nothing like a war movie. Not that I've read the last 50 drafts. <gasps> Blasphemy! Wilton, why do you always jump to Gustav's defense? You know he wouldn't do the same for you. Some relationships are easy, Millie. Others test you. I haven't lost faith that one day, one glorious day, Gustav will realize that I, Wilton, am his dearest companion. Wilton! Wilton! We'll always have that island. You know, Wilton, some people don't know what they have until it's gone. You're saying I should kill myself? I don't know why any of you think this is actually going to happen. It's Gustav. He changes his mind more often than Lou when she's picking an outfit for an industry event. He's probably already moved on to his next harebrained, cockeyed, squirrel nose scheme. I'll bet you when we show up tomorrow morning, he'll have forgotten all about this boot camp idea. <laughs> Welcome to boot camp, maggots. This camp is all about discipline, perseverance, and concentration. You should start to think of this as a concentration camp. I'm here to mold you, shape you, and pulverize you into the kind of hard asses that can take a battering ram to the balls and not even blink. Ladies, substitute balls with ovaries, and you get the idea. A word on toilet facilities. If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. If it's green, you're looking lean. If it's white, heavy night. If it's black, lay off the crack. If it's red, seek some med. If it's blue, it's not a loo. If it's orange, I, um, I forgot that one. How's my crap gonna be orange? Who am I, Ernie from Sesame Street? The other colors make sense. Silence! Did I give you permission to speak freely? Private Lou, Private Fex, drop and give me 50. Corporal Wilson. <gasps> You will be staying in the main cabin as my second in command. The rest of you grunts are confined to the barracks, also known as cabin C. Oh, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Can it, Corporal? Confiscate all phones and electronic devices. For the next seven days, this camp is a sanctuary, untouched by post 1940s consumer technology. And 50. Phew. Ambushed. Sir, I suspect Private Lou of cheating. <laughs> Anyone caught cheating or slacking off over the next seven days will be severely and irreparably punished. Training starts now. Forward, march. I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. My member is weak, I'm getting old. My member is weak, I'm getting old. If you want to be my lover, Make it last forever. It doesn't hurt. You're not doing it right. Pain is your friend. Pleasure uh, is your enemy. Uh, Sadomasochism is some guy you met one time at a party that you were not invited to. I don't see a lot of teamwork. You are not a rare and unique snowflake. I better not see any smiles. They're called push-ups, not lie down. You make me physically and spiritually ill. The rest of you, take a look at this. This is a pitiful human being. Your father doesn't love you. Your mother doesn't love you. I am your only friend in the world, and I hate you to death. Uh, 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 do you want to build a snowman? Too bad! You're in the army now! My grandmother moves fast in that. She's dead. Oh, take your time. Take your time. You got nothing better to do. You're either a can or a total con. Which one are you? Are you a total con? Because you look like a total con. That was just a small taste of what's in store for you, maggots. The second day is gonna truly kick you in the ass. I expect you all to be ready and standing at attention at 0400. 
Dismissed. <laughs> I can't believe that was all one day. I've never trained so hard in my life. It feels like I've been raped by an elephant. <laughs> Experiencing pain in parts of my body I didn't even realize had sensation. A hair pain. Is that a thing? What time is it now? Oh, who the hell cares? This is gonna be the best sleep of my life. <gasps> sweet, sweet pillow, how many ways do I love thee? Wake up, maggots! <laughs> it's 0400! Get those lazy asses out of those bunks! <laughs> Different day, same shit. Get up, get up! Move it, move it! You ruined my course! Get up! Wolf! <laughs> I can't feel. I can't feel what? No, that was the whole sentence. <laughs> I'm spent. This next lesson is all about camouflage. Where is he? How are we supposed to learn about camouflage if we can't see the person performing the demonstration? Wilson, I'm pretty sure that's the whole point. <sighs> I'm so hot. I'm so happy I took the Kevlar padding out of these pants. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson two, <laughs> always wear protection. I've been shot! Gustav, what is this meant to teach us as a film crew? I mean, what possible scenario could arise in which any of this stuff is applicable? How's this scenario? You're in the middle of a hell on earth firefighting with Charlie. You've got your head down ass up in the Mekong Delta. But before you can go crying for mommy, a kook jumps up from behind a tree and sticks his rifle in your dick. What are you gonna do, Fix? Digitally erase him, rotoscope him out, replace him with a CG version that moves more fluidly, but the fans hate? I just think that we should approach this from a more theoretical standpoint. That's a terrific idea. Huh. Hey, I've got an idea myself. Of course, this is just me spitballing. <laughs> Stop that crying, Private. It's just a rubber bullet. Here, I'll shoot myself in the foot to prove it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's not a rubber bullet. Uh, whoops. <clears throat> Suppose it's a good thing I didn't shoot myself in the foot. We have to escape. Five more days of this and I'm gonna hang myself from the high ropes. I knew this was gonna be completely shit time! Gustav is synonymous with shit. In the future I picture people walking in the park and stopping to say, Yuck, I stepped into Gustav. That's it for these shoes. Okay, well, how are we going to escape? We all came in Gustav's car. Remember, Lou? It was so cramped, I had to sit on my lap. <laughs> yes, Casey, I remember. So cramped and yet so comfortable. Then how do we get out of here? It's not as if we can just call a cab. Gustav took all our phones. Ah, oh, sweet, doe-eyed, innocent Millie. What kind of bachelor I'd be without a second phone? <laughs> yes! You beautiful douchebag! <laughs> Millie, what are you doing? Sir, it was just as you suspected. Really? You've turned to the dark side? This camp has provided me with the structure and discipline that has been sorely lacking my whole life. I cannot let you jeopardize my new trajectory. Corporal Millie is now my second, second in command. There's been a glaring descent within the ranks of late. I see now that I have no choice but to beat it out of you. Literally. Millie's always been impressionable, but I've never known Gustav to impress anybody. Private Ed, you're up. <laughs> I'm not doing it, Gustav. It's against my principles to hit a woman. Against your principles or against your abilities? Oh, I'm about to open up a whole keg of whoop ass. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, this establishment already has a whoop ass license. Do you even have that many teeth? No. I've been eating other people's teeth. It's supposed to improve your eyesight. Oh, they lied. Well, Millie, I'm sure you won't mind if I BYO whoop ass. <laughs> Don't bother. I've got whoop ass on tap. They say a glass of whoop ass night is good to the heart. Oh! 
Just don't make the mistake of binge drinking, Whoopass. Uh, I propose a Whoopass prohibition. <laughs> I didn't even wish to partake of the Whoopass. I've got six years of Whoopass sobriety. I can't go backwards. Left, 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 right, left. Get your knees up, Maggie. Look at you. Typical actress. If you have to get cut in the face, it's always in the same exact spot where it actually helps to find your cheekbone. Good work, Arwen. Look at my deformity. Are you sure that wasn't there before? Cut the chatter, privates. Oh, hey, Millie. Didn't recognize you because you weren't punching me in the face. Suit yourself. <laughs> Do you know me now? That's it. I'm making a run for it. Run for it? To where? Anywhere. There's going to be a refuge within five kilometres of here. And you collapsed halfway through the two kilometre sprint this morning. I don't care. I'm going. If you guys don't want to come with me, fine. But at least make a diversion so I can make my escape. What kind of diversion? Oh, uh, anything. Pretend there's a dangerous animal coming at you and everyone will scatter. On three. One, two, three. Stop! Face first into a Gustav. Well, where did it even come from? There are no cows around here. Well, maybe it's a shark patty. We should probably get him out of there. No. He's still highly charged. We can't risk moving him for at least ten minutes. <laughs> oh, well, his tongue's out now. That makes it so much worse. Oh. Maybe we can use a stick to push it back in. A small kindness, I know, but I'm sure he'll really appreciate it when he regains his motor functions. No, I'm not going to risk attempting that again. Mm. Now that's some good platypus. Mm. Excellent work today, Corporal Millie. I think the recruits are really starting to respect our superiority. Thank you, General. I hope they finally recognise what a privilege this camp truly is. Yes. Let us out of here! It's no use. He's triple padlocked it from outside. Bush-dwelling sharks? Really, Casey? I panicked. I'm no good at improv. <laughs> We're gonna die in here. Alone. And fit. Wilton, what do you want? I want in on your escape. Bullshit! You're Gustav's lapdog. Why would you want to leave? I can take almost anything from Gustav. He can demean me, bully me, verbally and psychologically abuse me. But when he forced me to exercise in order to improve my physical well-being, a line was crossed. Even if we trusted you, how could we escape? Gustav locks us in here at night now. I can get you out of here. I, I can't open the door, but I know where the shovels are kept. I know Gustav keeps the car keys underneath his pillow. I just need something to take care of Millie. She watches me like a hawk. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just tormenting the recruits. Suck my bum, you weak losers. Corporal, inviting an inferior serviceman to orally extract moisture from your posterior constitutes conduct unbecoming your rank. Please return with me to the main cabin. Guys, this is our chance. You heard Wilton. Suck my bum, you weak losers. No, the stuff he said before that. We've got a friend on the inside. I reckon it's high time we gave boot camp the flick. Left, right, left. Corporal to celebrate another successful day of training. We should get into the habit of doing this every night at exactly six o'clock. 
You mean 1800? Right, yes, 1800 o'clock. Drowning is the most peaceful way to die. Still, we should probably get him out of there. I dishonorably discharged. This is harder work than what we're trying to escape. How much further, Ed? Only a few feet. Tonight's the night. Don't screw it up. Who knew Rehypnol was made from crushed gum leaves? Here's to another successful day of strategic torture. I don't feel like drinking tonight. What, 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 what? You're just gonna let me drink alone? You can't do that. What you do is your prerogative. No, no, but it's our prerogative. We have a shared prerogative. Don't be pejorative just to be provocative. Why are you so desperate for me to have a drink with you, Corporal? Oh, desperate. Smash me. Oh, I'm not desperate. You're desperate to think that I'm desperate. Look, I'm gonna tip the drink out. I don't care about the drink. I'm gonna tip it out. I don't even care about it. I'm gonna tip it out. I'm just gonna tip it out over the railing. Here it goes. Look, look, look. I don't care. I'm gonna tip it out over the railing. Look, it's gonna tip. Tippy, tip, tip, tip. tip. It's gonna tip over the railing. Oh, for goodness sake. Fine, I'll drink it. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> but consider this the last time. Oh, I do. Remember, as soon as we're out of the hall, absolute silence from everyone. Right. How much further, Ed? It's just up here. I can see light. <laughs> That's not moonlight. What is that? Wow, it's really bright and warm. Hey, isn't this our cabin just here? Well, why were we crawling for 50 metres? So we took the scenic route. What does it matter? We stick to the plan. Ed, Casey, you guys take the back entrance and find our phones. Fex and I'll get the car keys. Disperse. Did you hear screaming just now? What happened to the campfire? Oh, crapsies. I better check the barracks. Tripwire. Nice try, Gustav. <laughs> Too smart from an ogre. That's not a tripwire effect. That's a dipstick for checking the level of build-up in the composting toilets. That explains the taste.
she's still a wolf! Wilton, is that you? I love you, Wilton. I always have. <laughs> You're Millie, the sound girl. You hate violence and you've got more heart than sense. Look, these are the box with our phones. Listen to what you've been missing. Oh my goodness, what happened to me? Last thing I remember, Gustav was telling me to run faster. It's a good thing my mic wasn't on because those levels would have definitely distorted. Welcome back, Millie. Hey, Wilson, listen to me! It was just sleep talk. It wasn't real, you know that. The real Gustav is the fascist sadist who's been torturing us all week. Remember the exercises? Remember the pain? The sweat, the bruises, the enhanced muscle tone? Is that something you really want to go back to? it's a good thing he wrote his autobiography when he did. Okay, good stuff. Let's try this again. Here comes the shark. I mean, the fishy. I gloop, I gloop, gloop. Mm. Oh, gloop, gloop. Come on, come on, mm. come on, in your mouth. Mm. Oh. Guess you're not hungry just yet. That's okay. We have all the time in the world. Mm. And let me start by expressing just how sorry I am for betraying you for a second time. I never would have done any of it if I'd known it would result in you being electrocuted, burned and mutilated. But I just want you to know how profoundly moved I was by what you said in your bedroom last night. I know if that's the way you truly feel, we're gonna get through this together. Jill, you. I'm gonna Jill you. No, who's Jill, Gustav? <coughs> who's Jill? <coughs> Gustav. <coughs> Who is Jill? I can't believe we nearly killed him. I can't believe he's still alive. He's like a cockroach. Still, it's gonna be a while before he can direct again. Guys, do you realize what this means? Gustav could be out of commission for weeks, maybe even months. For the first time in forever, we're not trapped in the void. We're free! It's time to grab life by the horns and seize the death! Can we 
this is tomorrow instead because there's some editing I want to get done before good stuff. On your feet, maggots! I want the four of you togged, sunscreen, and ready to storm the beaches in 0 100. Do I not? Do I not? Myself clear. Sir, yes, sir. Forward march, privates. It's time to get fun.